Have you ever met a smurf that picks Morphling and started one-shotting everyone on the map and there's absolutely nothing you can do because he's just so good at attribute shifting? Hey guys, this is Dato Leong and in this video, I'll explain to you how to deal with Morphling. Morphling can be easily abused in the lower ranks because it is a very mechanical intensive hero so majority of the average player don't have a clear understanding of the hero's power spike and what he's capable of so I'd like to share with you how to completely shut this monster down. I'll start by giving you 4 main ways to deal with Morphling, then I'll explain to you what to do in different stages of the game. The first counter is going to be Spirit Vessel. Why? Most of you that played against Morph often will understand that level 4 attribute shift is OP, which it is. Spirit Vessel reduces healing by 45% and that's going to prevent Morph OP healing from the strength gain. Spirit Vessel also does 4% current health damage per second, which means that the more health Morphling gains, the more damage he takes. Morphling's ultimate no longer dispels which means that Morph can no longer instantly remove Spirit Vessel and he will need Manta or BKB to counter the Vessel. And if you compare the prices of this item, Spirit Vessel costs 2,940 gold while Manta Style and BKB will cost you 4,600 gold and 4,050 gold respectively, which means that Morphling will need more time to farm to deal with the counter than for you to purchase a Vessel and counter him immediately. The next counter is going to be mana burning. Morphling is a very mana dependent hero and once you remove all his mana, he can't do anything other than attribute shifting. The more strength Morphling gains, the lesser damage he does. And if Morphling can't get into a safe position to reset his stats back to agility, he's a useless Morphling with a lot of health. Basically, a very tanky creep. Therefore, Mana Burning is one of the deadliest Morphling counters and I would suggest purchasing Diffuser Blade if you do not have any Mana Burning heroes or even if you do, Diffuser Blade will restrict Morphling's potential greatly. Next off, let's talk about controlling Morph in a team fight. In order to maximize damage output, Morphling players usually start fights or farm with extremely low health and high damage. And when they engage in battle, they will try to take out a target then shift to strength immediately. So if you are able to get off the instant disable before Morph is able to to shift the strength, the morphling usually dies instantly. Now, if the morphling player has a good game sense and starts shifting to strength when he feels that something is not right, you will probably fail to kill the morphling even if you have instant disable spells. So what you need to do is to mess with his game sense with vision and hero positioning and I'll talk more about that in a later part of this video. The final huge counter to morphling are heroes that get stronger the more they hit. Heroes like Ursa, OD, and Slug. These heroes are not direct food to Morphling because they are either really tanky or they have some form of escape. So if Morph wants to kill them, he will need to put in the extra effort which is usually not worth it. Now let's talk about gameplay. Morphling is the weakest at level 1 and level 2. Starting from level 3 and level 5, his attribute shift will give him superior trading capabilities. So if you want to lean well against Morphling, you have to own him during level 1 and level 2 and use that little advantage to snowball the lane. I will recommend double waving the Morphling and I'll explain why. One thing to note about Morphling is that Morphling will always have more damage than you and he will always have more attack speed than you as long as he has full agility on. So your main goal in the laning phase is to force him to shift the strength as much as possible. More strength means lesser damage and lesser attack speed and since a low leveled morph will take a longer time to shift back to agility, you will buy yourself an opening to last hit when the morph retreats into the fog to reset the stats and if the creeps are under tower, the morphling will have trouble last hitting with low damage since he's forced to switch back to strength. It is important that you pressure the morph as much as possible during the first two levels because once he hits level 5, you really can't do anything to him anymore. Since morph has low movement speed and is a hero without any stuns in the early game, it is unlikely for a morph to rotate to the side lanes unless he has a rune. Which brings me to my next point, rune control. If you are able to contest and secure all runes the first 10 minutes, your side lanes will not have to fear a ganking morphling at all. And you can even make plays on the side lanes as well because most morphling would rather farm than to try and out rotate you. The game plan for most morph is to push off the middle lane and jungle the side neutral camps really fast then move back to the lane. If you are playing a hero that can push out the lane faster than Morphling, you should look to steal his side neutrals before he pushes out the lane but you will have to be aware of rotation when you do that. Just remember this, you don't always have to kill a Morphling to win. If you try to kill an unkillable hero and get turned around, you might feed and give the Morphling a small opening to snowball the game. So if you can't stop the Morph's farm, focus on your own farm and ganking the side lanes. Now let's go back to killing a Morphling. 
Like I said earlier, a good morph will start switching to strength when he feels that something is not right. So even if you have an instant disable spell, it will be very hard to catch a good morphling player off guard if you don't do it right. And here's what you aim to do when you want to pick off a morphling. You have to make sure that you have an instant disable hero in the fog of war near the morphling. And make sure that a hero with good damage is nearby. Then you want to make sure that the morphling is doing something that takes his attention away from a death threat. Something like walking up the high ground or a creep wave to start lasting creeps. Then you want a hero to show on the map to make him feel a little safer. A good player will look around the map to check for items, levels, and talent trees. And when they do that, their attention will not be on the main hero for a split second and that's when you make your jump. If you can coordinate this perfectly, you can easily take out any morphling. Finally, when you're team fighting against a morphling without any instant disable with instant burst, never go all in on a morphling. Try your best to kite the morph and wait for the waveform. If you throw everything on the morph and he survives, it is very likely that he turns around and destroy the team fight. Kiting should be prioritized in most cases, and you want to wait for morphling to use his waveform before you start committing all your spells on morphling. Now if you have a lot of stuns on your team, you wouldn't have to worry about strength morph because the more strength morphing gains, the lesser damage he does. And if he doesn't have waveform, it doesn't matter how much health he has, he's just gonna get stunned and chased down to death. And also, I started streaming. Come come mana boys. What is what, dragon? What dragon? Oh my god! What's he saying? Regen! Regen! I don't think anyone knows that. No one is that trying hard! Oh, lie, oh, lie, oh, lie, oh, lie, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine! I got, I got off, I got off my strength off, I got off my strength off, I got off my strength off. Coming, coming, my good sir. Fuck off, bruh! Woohoo! I'm alive, baby! I'm alive! Entering battle! Hey, nigga, healing what? Healing what? Healing what? I'm gonna stomp them. Get this guy. Alright, this is pretty good. This is pretty good. Right click this guy. We form in. Kill this guy. Who's one next? More, one more, one more here, one more here. <laughs> I'm dead. I'm just gonna man out and fight. Yes, 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 angry, angry, woo, woo, beep.